Hi everyone, today we're in Prime District 10 in the Farrell Drive region and we're right next to the Singapore Botanical Gardens as well and surrounded by good class bungalow areas. Today, I have a special one beta unit to take you through and this layout is luxurious and it offers everything that you can usually find in a larger unit. Now, this unit has everything packed in 549 square feet of one beta space. So if you're ready, let's check out Bullen & Blue. So earlier on, I mentioned about having features of larger units and immediately you notice them here at the entrance foyer area. So you do get a very wide and expensive kind of entrance zone into your dining as well as your living area. And this is different from some of the one bedders that you find in today's market because most of the time you will find that one bedders, they come with a narrow entrance area. What you get is a very comfortable sized entrance foyer. You have plenty of space here for you to do uh, shoe cabinets. You're going to do a built-in kind of shoe cabinet with a bit of a display shelf. I think that is definitely doable. I think the layout is very well done by the developer which is Singland and the project is 99 years starting from 2012 so in terms of lease balance it's still very healthy at 88 years. Poland and Blue was completed in 2016 and total of 106 units here spread across your one beta types all the way to your five beta types. I think the site plan is also very well planned because when you look at the site map you'll find that the blocks are lined up in a linear fashion and that also means that you don't have any other blocks that are facing one another within the project itself. Now facilities wise, I think this project has got great facilities for a small size project. They are all spread out across three different areas. You have level one, level four, as well as the roof garden area. So at level one, that is where you'll find your children's playground, the fitness station, barbecue pavilion. On level four would then be the main facilities deck because that is where you can find some of the function rooms, viewing bridge, sky terrace as well. You also have a children's play slide area. The gymnasium is there, kids pool, jacuzzi pool, you have an infinity edge pool on the fourth level which I think is a very nice touch because you have a, quite a nice view out. This is actually a very generous size pool for a small development. Lastly, on the roof garden, that is where you have viewing deck as well as viewing bridge for you to enjoy the view out from this elevated plot of land. This is a one beta size at 549 square feet. You do get an open kitchen area as well as a dining and living, followed by a nice balcony. You also have your master bedroom, which comes with a walk-in wardrobe, as well as a Jack and Jill bathroom, which has access towards your dining area. This is actually more generous than I expected for a one beta. So if you notice immediately, you have a very long stretch of countertop space. You have your double induction cooktop right here. Microwave oven is through there. And this is where you have space to put in your washer cum dryer combi. And behind me in this recess area, you have space to go up to a bigger size fridge. Top and bottom, you have plenty of storage cabinets. And I really like this finish that the developer did, which was to give it a brown kind of finish. What I like to point out is also this here. This is actually where the drying rack would be for your kitchenware. Actually right beneath here, this is a water tray which you can dispose some of the water. Very functional kitchen. I think this is in fact bigger than some of the newer two beta layouts kitchen size. Moving on to the dining space, this right now is a four-seater. I think you can even go up to an eight-seater, no problem. Now on the flip side of the kitchen, what we have here is some storage cabinets, which again, very smartly planned out by the developers. They have used every corner of the home. So here you have your DB box, but you realize there's a very large area here for you to put in your storage. Again, a rare feature for a one bedder unit to have such a large storage, very nicely done. Coming over on this side, this would be your living room area. And this is a very comfortable space because wall to wall is about 3.3 meters. So enough space for you to fit in maybe like a three-seater couch over here. And of course, this is where your TV wall would go. In terms of ceiling height, it's also slightly higher than usual. This is about 2.88 meters. So it doesn't feel too cluttered as well. What 
what I really like about this layout is the position of the balcony because most of the time you will find that the balconies will be situated right next to the living room and thereby the whole layout is quite linear in that sense. For this particular stack, what the developer has very smartly done is to place the balcony beside the living room on this side instead of over here. And because of the location of the balcony this way, this is directly facing north. What that means for you is that if in the afternoon you want to shy away from the afternoon sun, you can of course draw the blinds over on this side so you don't get any western sun exposure coming in. And these are bifold doors which allow you to stack them up towards the corner as well. You get a wide open here and you're looking onto the greenery as well. Now if you look further into the distance over there, you can see Infinity Lab Pool. What this gives you is then a north facing kind of opening. So you do get very good crosswind ventilations from here. Now if you look out towards this side, these are then some of the neighboring projects over here. So this is Summerview Grandeur and you will notice that these are low rise developments. They are only about four stories high. We are right now on level five and this project goes all the way up to level eight as well. Another good feature about this layout is the location of the AC latch. So some of the times you'll find that AC latch are located outside of the bedroom or the living room and because of that you have to compromise by having a half height window. What they have very nicely done is to tuck away the AC latch here in this corner so it's behind the wall of your dining as well as your living area so you don't get to see it at all. So in terms of location wise, we are located in this cul-de-sac of Farrer Drive which can be accessed via the main Farrer Road. So to walk out, it will take just about 5 minutes or a distance of 400 meters. And from there, Empress Road Market and Food Centre is just across the road. And Farrer Road MRT on the Circle Line is just another 200 meters down towards the right side. Now if you want more food options, there are some great restaurants at Block 3 and 4 Farrer Gardens HDB. Otherwise, just one station away is Holland Village. And right there, of course, you have supermarkets, cafes, hawker centres, clinics banks and plenty more amenity options. Now another note for amenities would then be in the other direction between Botanic Gardens as well as Tan Ka Ki MRT and that entire stretch has plenty of food options, clinics, vets as well and tuition centres. So if you love nature and you're a bit more adventurous as well, you will enjoy the walk towards Singapore Botanic Garden which is just around the corner or you can also just take one stop down towards Botanic Gardens MRT. Now this project is also within 1km to Nanyang Primary School. Let's crunch some numbers as well as talk about the rentability potential of this place. Now, if you're looking for one better options here in this area, you'll find that most of the projects are clustered together here in the middle towards the Farrer Road MRT area. Now, for the freehold options, you have the Enclave at Holland. Freehold completed in 2019, so one of the newer projects. Very small size project, 26 units. 570 square feet is asking at $1.45 million, PSF of about 2,543. You also have the Cornwall, which is a freehold as well. Completed 2005. 99 units, so relatively same size as Poland and Blue. 764 square feet unit, asking $1.68 million, PSF 2,198. You have also Summerview Park, which is freehold, completed in 1985. 600 square feet unit, asking $1.45 million, PSF about 2,324. You also have the levels, and that is freehold in status, completed 2004. 807 square feet unit, now this is a slightly larger unit because it's a one plus study. Asking price is at $1.6 million, PSF 1983. For the 99 year option, you have Dilidon, and this was completed in 2014. Mega size project, 1703 units. The one bidders there are about 592 square feet to about 657 square feet. And asking prices would then range from 1.17 million to 1.5 million dollars. PSF range would be between 1841 to 2362. Now, for some of the new launches in the area, you have Wilshire Residences, Freehold and Status. This is expected to TOP sometime next year. 603 square feet is asking $1.5 million. PSF is hitting the 2,500 mark. You also have Leiden Green. We look at some of the past transactions at Leiden Green and you can see that in 2023 alone, a smallest one bidder at 474 square feet has already transacted at 1.38 to 1.41 and bringing their PSF to the $2,900 range. And the next bigger size of one bidder will be the 538 square feet units. Those were already transacted at $1.55 million. 
to $1.73 million, and the PSF range would then be in and around the 2,800 mark to 3,100 mark. Coming back to our unit here, Poland and Blue, we are 99 years, completed in 2016. 106 units in total. This unit, standing at 549 square feet, is asking $1.1 million. PSF is at a flat $2,000. Now, so in summary, if you look at the one better options here and their prices in this region, you will find that if you want to keep your quantum below the $1.15 million mark, this would be one of the only few units that allows you to do that. And in terms of PSF wise, there is also still a very healthy disparity of $500 all the way to $1,000 to some of the new launches in the area. So I think there is still room for appreciation sometime in the future for your exit. So this unit, of course, looking at the size and the layout, this will be suitable for young couples, single professionals, or if you're looking to purchase this place and rent it out immediately. Then let's talk a little bit about the rentability potential of this place. Now, this project would be perfect for tenants who are looking for a place that is quiet, but yet at the same time, they don't want to compromise too much on the convenience, being quite centrally located towards the Holland as well as the Bukit Timah area. This unit will check most of the boxes because we're nicely tucked away from the main ferrule road and you don't get any road noise. But if you want to head out and get access to your amenities then it's also not too far away. Now if you're an investor then this will of course contribute to the rentability of this place. Now speaking of rentability you would then be wondering what are some of the tenant pools nearby here if you intend to rent this space out. Now pulling up the map you'll find that just two stops down from here would be Buona Vista Station and that's where of course you have Metropolis as well as Biopolis Hub and the next stop from there would then be One North where Fusionopolis Hub is at and then one more stop would of course be Kenridge Station where NUH and NUS Village is. So I think these three major hubs would be the main tenant pool for this area. Now in terms of rental yield, this is also very strong because if we look at the one bedder rental contracts for this year, thus far they are done at the range of 3,008 to 4,003. So if we assume on the conservative rate of 3,008, the annual gross rental income is at $45,600 and take that over the asking price of $1.1 million, that brings your gross rental yield to be a strong 4.1%. Now assuming the purchase price of $1.1 million and an interest rate of 3.5% spread across a loan tenant of 30 years, assuming you are taking 75% bank loan of 825,000, that will bring your monthly mortgage to about $3,704. And that also means that if you're able to rent this space out at $3,008 or even higher, you will then be able to cover your monthly mortgage fully and you still have a bit of excess cash for you to use that for your MCST fees. Now speaking of MCST fees, the fees will be slightly higher for Poland and Blur because this is a small size development and you do get a full range of facilities. So coming into the master bedroom, this is very much like a hotel setup and why I say that is because first of all, size is great. If you look at the floor plan, you will find that in terms of the width of the master bedroom, that is actually equivalent to the living room space outside, so about 3.3 meters in terms of width. This right now is a queen size bed. You can definitely go up to a king bed because if you look at the wall plugs on the sides, you have more room to go. So this layout gives you the flexibility to put in an additional study room area or work from home office space because you already have wall plugs done up over here. Here you have full height windows, right below are picture windows of course, so these can't be open. You actually get walk-in wardrobe space here towards the bathroom. So here in the wardrobes, you can see that plenty of wardrobe space. This is an exact mirror image of this side, so you actually have double wardrobe spaces. So I think this is a very nice touch of luxury which the developer fitted in. You don't find this very often in most of the one bedders. So master bathroom being a one bedder, this is done in a Jack and Jill concept so that if you have guests coming over, they can also access the other sliding panel door from the dining room area into the bathroom. Very generous size. This is a standing shower area which also very nicely done up this latch for you to put in your toiletries. So you have rain shower, you have a standing shower, shower handheld over there. This would then be where your toilet is. Flush system is actually above here. So this would be your sink area, very nice floating vanity area with storage below as well. So once again to recap, this is a one bedder unit size at 549 square feet in this project called Poland and Blue. Now if you are a young couple looking to use this space as a pivot home and you want to keep your quantum below the $1.15 million mark or your investor trying to keep your quantum as low as possible to maximize your rental yield, then I think this unit will interest you. So if you're interested to have a look at the place, do contact our listing managers. Our contact details are right here. So as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to all our socials. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, as well as TikTok. My name is Chun Wei. 
Top Daily Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Ready? This is Grand Dior Summer View. <laughs> I need to double check. We should check out a little bit later on. Ah! So as always, don't forget to give this. Give, give, give this.